People rarely succeed unless they have fun in what they are doing. Dale Carnegie Dale Carnegie's assertion highlights the intrinsic link between enjoyment and success. The essence of this statement lies in the psychological and motivational realms where enjoyment acts as a catalyst for sustained engagement and effort in any endeavor. When individuals enjoy their work, they are more likely to exhibit perseverance, creativity, and resilience, qualities that are indispensable for success. This enjoyment, rooted in intrinsic motivation, contrasts with extrinsic motivators such as financial rewards or recognition, which may not sustain long-term commitment. The underlying insight is that when the process brings satisfaction, performance naturally improves, and success becomes not just an outcome, but a byproduct of a fulfilling journey. The lesson here is to seek and cultivate passion in our pursuits. By aligning our work with our interests and pleasures, we unlock a more natural and potent drive towards achieving our goals, making success more attainable and enduring. Take a chance. All life is a chance. The man who goes furthest is generally the one who is willing to do and dare. Dale Carnegie Dale Carnegie's statement accentuates the necessity of risk-taking as an integral part of life and a crucial component of achievement. Life's inherent uncertainty implies that every decision carries potential risk and reward. Those who are willing to embrace this uncertainty, to do and dare, are often the ones who reach the farthest in their personal and professional lives. The willingness to take chances reflects a mindset that recognizes the growth and opportunities that come from stepping out of comfort zones. The success here is not merely about the attainment of a goal, but also about the expansion of one's capabilities and experiences. The insight to be drawn is that the avoidance of risk is also the avoidance of potential. Therefore, the lesson learned is the value of courage and bold action in the face of uncertainty, propelling us toward greater heights and possibly leading to more significant outcomes than a more cautious approach would yield. Click subscribe to this channel to get more valuable quotes from the legends. Today is life the only life you are sure of. Make the most of today. Get interested in something. Shake yourself awake. Develop a hobby. Let the winds of enthusiasm sweep through you. Live today with gusto. Dale Carnegie. Dale Carnegie's quote serves as a call to action, emphasizing the immediacy of life and the importance of living it fully. By stating today is life, he underscores the certainty of the present moment as opposed to the unpredictability of the future. Making the most of today suggests an active engagement with one's environment and experiences, advocating for a life lived with vigor and passion. The advice to get interested in something and develop a hobby points to the power of cultivating interests that can add meaning and joy to everyday life. Hobbies and passions can serve as vehicles for self-expression and personal growth, contributing to a more enriched and satisfying life. Shake yourself awake implies breaking free from autopilot and the monotony that can creep into daily routines. It's an encouragement to revive one's sense of wonder and curiosity about the world. The winds of enthusiasm metaphor evokes the transformative energy that enthusiasm can bring to one's life. This energy can propel individuals to pursue their interests with zeal and can have a contagious effect, inspiring others as well. Living with gusto encapsulates the overarching message of the quote, to embrace life with eagerness and a hearty willingness to experience it to the fullest. Through this, Carnegie conveys that the quality of our lives is greatly enhanced by our zest for life and the actions we take to ensure each day is lived with purpose and excitement. Success is getting what you want. Happiness is wanting what you get. Dale Carnegie 
Dale Carnegie's adage distinguishes between success and happiness, two concepts often conflated. Success is framed as an achievement-oriented outcome based on the attainment of specific goals or desires. It is externally defined and varies widely among individuals, as what one person desires can differ greatly from another's aspirations. Happiness, on the other hand, is presented as a state of contentment that comes from appreciating and desiring what one already possesses. Unlike success, happiness is more internally focused and subjective, rooted in one's attitudes and perceptions rather than external achievements. The profound insight here is that success without happiness can be hollow, as constantly chasing desires without appreciating what one has can lead to a perpetual state of dissatisfaction. Conversely, happiness can exist independently of traditional markers of success, suggesting that a shift in perspective, from seeking external validation to cultivating internal gratitude, can lead to a more fulfilling life. The lesson is that while it is natural to strive for success, sustainable fulfillment comes from aligning one's desires with appreciation for the present. Ultimately, this statement encourages a balance between ambition and gratitude, suggesting that the richest life combines elements of both success and happiness. If you can't sleep, then get up and do something instead of lying there and worrying. It's the worry that gets you, not the loss of sleep. Dale Carnegie Dale Carnegie's insight here is a pragmatic approach to the common problem of insomnia, which is often exacerbated by worry. The quote suggests that the act of worrying is more detrimental to one's well-being than the actual lack of sleep. Worrying is a passive state where the mind fixates on concerns without resolution, often leading to a cycle of stress and further sleeplessness. Carnegie advises action over rumination. By redirecting attention from worrying to engaging in a constructive or calming activity, one can break the cycle. This activity doesn't necessarily need to be strenuous or overly stimulating. It could be something as simple as reading a book, meditating, or organizing a space in the house. The deeper insight is that worry is an internal reaction that can be managed. It is not the external situation, in this case, loss of sleep, that has the greatest impact, but our response to it. The inability to sleep becomes an opportunity to practice this principle by choosing to focus on an action that can be controlled rather than an outcome that cannot. The lesson is a broader life strategy when faced with situations that provoke anxiety, shifting from a state of worry to one of proactive engagement can alleviate stress and potentially lead to more productive outcomes. This promotes a mindset of resilience and adaptability, which is crucial for both mental well-being and effective problem-solving. Do the hard jobs first. The easy jobs will take care of themselves. Dale Carnegie Dale Carnegie's quote advocates for prioritizing challenging tasks to enhance productivity. Addressing the most demanding work first capitalizes on peak energy levels, yielding a sense of achievement and diminishing the workload's psychological weight. This strategy, akin to eating the frog, suggests that completing tougher jobs early can make subsequent tasks appear more manageable, effectively streamlining the day's to-do list. The insight is that the dread of difficult tasks often exacerbates procrastination, so confronting them promptly can alleviate stress and bolster motivation. The overarching lesson is that smart prioritization fosters a more productive and less stressful approach to task management. Remember, today is the tomorrow you worried about yesterday. Dale Carnegie Dale Carnegie's reminder serves as a reflection on the nature of worry and the passage of time. It underscores the futility of excessive anxiety about the future, which, when it arrives, is often less daunting than anticipated. 
The quote suggests that the concerns that occupy our minds today may become trivial or manageable when they actually unfold. It encourages living in the present and dealing with each day's challenges as they come, rather than being paralyzed by the fear of what might happen. This perspective aims to liberate individuals from the cycle of worry and to promote a mindful approach to life where the present moment is valued over uncertain futures. The lesson is to recognize the impermanence of our worries and to focus our energies on what we can control today. Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Dale Carnegie Dale Carnegie's quote emphasizes the power of perseverance. It implies that historic achievements often come from those who persist, even when success seems out of reach. The core message is that determination in the face of adversity is a critical driver of meaningful progress. This insight champions the idea that enduring through doubt and difficulty can lead to significant outcomes, underscoring the value of resilience. The takeaway is clear. Continue to strive towards your goals, especially when hope appears dim, as this tenacity is the hallmark of many of the world's most impactful accomplishments. Develop success from failures. Discouragement and failure are two of the surest stepping stones to success. Dale Carnegie. Dale Carnegie's statement recognizes failure as an integral part of the journey to success. He suggests that setbacks and the feelings of discouragement they often bring are not just obstacles, but essential elements that can be transformed into a foundation for future achievement. The perspective here is that through analyzing and learning from failures, individuals can gain invaluable insights that contribute to personal and professional growth. The lesson is that instead of viewing failure as a terminus, it should be seen as a part of the process, a catalyst for the development of resilience and adaptability. Success, therefore, is not the absence of failure, but the ability to persist and evolve beyond it. This quote encourages embracing challenges and setbacks as opportunities for learning and improvement, which can ultimately lead to greater success. Inaction breeds doubt and fear. Action breeds confidence and courage. If you want to conquer fear, do not sit home and think about it. Go out and get busy. Dale Carnegie Dale Carnegie's words highlight the contrasting effects of inaction and action. Inaction, he suggests, allows doubt and fear to flourish as the mind fixates on potential negative outcomes without any counterbalancing positive experience. On the other hand, taking action fosters confidence and courage. It is through engaging with challenges and achieving small victories that one builds the self-assurance to tackle larger obstacles. The advice to go out and get busy is a directive to confront fears directly rather than ruminating on them. By actively participating in the situations that cause apprehension, individuals can often find that their fears are less formidable than imagined. The core message is to counter fear with proactive behavior. It's a call to step out of one's comfort zone and into the realm of action where confidence is built and fear is diminished through experience and accomplishment. The successful man will profit from his mistakes and try again in a different way. Dale Carnegie Dale Carnegie's insight here is about the adaptive nature of success. He suggests that a successful person doesn't merely bounce back from mistakes, but actively learns from them and adjusts their approach. This adaptability is key to overcoming obstacles and achieving goals. The idea is that mistakes are not just inevitable, but also valuable learning opportunities. By analyzing what went wrong, one can glean insights that inform future attempts. The successful individual uses this knowledge to refine their strategies rather than repeating the same actions and expecting different results. 
The lesson is that the path to success is iterative and requires a willingness to experiment, fail, and adapt. This approach transforms setbacks into stepping stones, leading to continuous improvement and, ultimately, success. Most of us have far more courage than we ever dreamed we possessed. Dale Carnegie Dale Carnegie's observation speaks to the untapped potential within individuals to face challenges with resilience. He suggests that people often underestimate their capacity for courage, only to discover their true strength in times of adversity. This quote is an affirmation that when confronted with difficult situations, many find that they are capable of more than they initially believed. The courage referenced by Carnegie is not just about heroic acts, but also about the everyday bravery required to confront fears, take risks, and persevere despite uncertainty. The message is one of empowerment, to trust in one's own abilities, and to recognize that the reservoirs of courage we possess are deeper than we might anticipate. The lesson encourages self-belief and the understanding that often, the only way to realize our courage is by stepping into the very situations that require it.